welcome to this online presentation of The Christmas Story with readings from Kneeling in Bethlehem by Ann Weems. My name is Rev. Beth Hoskins, and on behalf of Landrum Presbyterian Church and Inman Presbyterian Church in the upstate of South Carolina, I welcome you to this service that we put together to be a, a starting point for a family worship together in your home, wherever you are. Feel free to like or to share this program with others that they may hear the Christmas story and sing some of the favorite Christmas carols and feel joy and know the joy of the Christmas story. The God who gave us the baby in a manger to show us the way of peace and love. May you hear and rejoice. And may the peace of Christ be with you this day and every day. Merry Christmas, my friend. Let us begin with a poem called Christmas Comes by Ann Weems. Christmas comes every time we see God and other persons. The human and the holy meet in Bethlehem or in Times Square. For Christmas comes like a golden storm on its way to Jerusalem. Determinedly, inevitably, even now it comes in the face of hatred and warring. No atrocity too terrible to stop it. No Herod strong enough. No hurt deep enough. No curse shocking enough. No disaster shattering enough. For someone on earth will see the star. Someone will hear the angel voices. Someone will run to Bethlehem. Someone will know peace and goodwill. The Christ will be born. Let us hear the Christmas story. The word of the Lord as it comes to us from the prophet Isaiah, from chapter 9, verses 2 to 7. Listen for the word of the Lord. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you. 
In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be, Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin? The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you, so the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age, and she, who is said to be unable to conceive, is in her sixth month, for no word from God will ever fail. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word to me be fulfilled. And then the angel left her. God's word for God's people. Matthew chapter 1 verses 18 to 25 Now the birth of Jesus the Messiah took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband, Joseph, being a righteous man, and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took her as his wife, but had no marital relations with her until she had born a son, and he named him Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Birth of Jesus, Luke chapter 2, verses 1 through 7. In those days a decree went out 
from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While, while they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. From Luke 2, verses 8 through 14. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then the angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I bring you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was, an, there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. <laughs> Thank you. 
When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But but Mary treasured up all these things, and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. God's word for God's people. Star Giving by Ann Weems What I'd really like to give you for Christmas is a star. Brilliance in a package. Something you could keep in the pocket of your jeans or in the pocket of your being. Something to take out in times of darkness. 
Something that would never snuff out or tarnish. Something you could hold in your hand. Something for wonderment. Something for pondering. Something that would remind you of what Christmas has always meant. God's advent light into the darkness of this world. But stars are only God's forgiving. And I must be content to give you words and wishes and packages without stars. But I can wish you life. As radiant as the star that announced the Christ child's coming. And as filled with awe as the shepherds who stood beneath its light. And I can pass on to you the love that has been given to me. Ignited countless times by others who knelt in Bethlehem's light. Perhaps, if you ask, God will give you a star. I hope you take time now to share with each other something you love about Christmas. Let each person share a a favorite song, a favorite gift you got today or in a previous year, a favorite memory, a favorite food, something you love about Christmas and why. And then I hope you'll give thanks to God who gave us the baby in a manger to show us the way of peace and love. May the peace of Christ be with you. Merry Christmas, my friends. Music